Asia too, where the flames of culinary contention ignite over chicken in a sal, where its popularity spreading like wildfire across Metro Manila. Right here, a heated rivalry is brewing between top favorite JT's Monacan Grill. JT's, JT's, JT's. And dark horse Negros in a sal Express. Negros in a sal is gonna win the food war. The stakes are exceptionally high. This battle will determine who makes the best chicken in a sal in the city. There's a lot of pressure being number one. Let's do the in a sal clash. The battle lines are drawn, but the food war begins. Establishments, one signature dish, one winner in a battle to be the best. From age old recipes to modern creations, raging rivalries divide die hard food fans. I'm Debbie Wong, and I'm gonna settle the score once and for all with an ultimate blindfold taste test. Two will enter, but only one will emerge victorious. Let the food war begin! This is Food Wars Asia. Chicken is a common sight, and the most celebrated of them all is chicken in a sal. It's a specialty from Bacolod City, capital of Negros Occidental. In a sal means grill, and what sets it apart is the elongo technique of slow grilling over the charcoal pit to give it that delicious smoky aroma and taste. For the U.S., it's fried chicken. For us, it's marinated and we like it barbecued. That's bakola in sal. It's just a simple food, but it's really, really full of flavor when you mix it with our traditional soy sauce. Uh, this is what we call sweet. It gives uh, extra spice to the whole uh, Chinese experience. As of May 2012, these two restaurants were ranked first and second place on the popular food website spot.ph. And since then, a great rivalry was born. We are the pioneer of uh, Inasal here in Metro Manila. And we all want to prove that we are number one. We rely on the quality of our food and may the best chicken win. But I think JD is unbeatable. It's unchallengeable. What does JT even stand for? Because I don't think just terrible chicken comes to mind because I would never eat anywhere else except Negros Pinesa. Both contenders are bringing to battle a plate of their famous chicken in a sal and garlic rice. To settle this epic showdown, I've gathered five locals whose taste buds will play both judge and jury in our definitive blindfold taste test. Two food experts, one guest taste tester, and one super fan from each restaurant. Before the final votes are cast, I'm going to check out the competition. Negro Sinasal Express is a neighborhood nook that started in 2010. The chicken here in Negro Sinasal reminds me of home, and it's like a piece of heaven in every bite. I always skip my diet when it comes to Negro Sinasal. This is probably the most authentic Inasal I've had. Have you had Inasal in other parts of the city? I have, but this is the best. Co-owners Sam and Don bought over the business from the original chicken in a cell restaurant in Metro Manila. It's a taste and region recipe. Well, we still cook it the traditional way. We, we use charcoal to maintain that earthy taste. And uh, we use the endemic uh, ingredients that cannot be found here in Manila. Inasal is not your typical barbecue chicken. What sets it apart is the unique marinade and the use of local ingredients like tuba and calamansi. And why do you mix it in a separate bowl? Well, this is to allow the salt and the sugar to melt first and the other ingredients to fuse in among themselves. And we allow this to sit for an hour or two. So the marinade has to marinate? Yes, precisely. Don strives hard to maintain the authenticity of the recipe by importing key ingredients like the tuba. Tuba is from the sap of the coconut flour fermented for years. And we further ferment it here in our restaurant for another two to three years with some other spices. At Negros, marination comes hand in hand with Sam's grilling technique. So every time we grill the chicken, it has to have a specific time, specific heat. Everything needs to be perfect to create a good chicken. We cut it in half for it to be cooked all the way in. It's called butterflying, when you're cutting open the chicken to even out the thickness. The smoke taste is just right. The meat is very tender, very juicy, especially when you add it with the sauce. Uh, it's really tasty. And what separates JT's from Negros in Asal is the yellow garlic rice. I don't know what they put in here, but yeah, this is what keeps me coming here. 
This rice is a gorgeous golden color. It's, it's a mixture of the chicken oil because chicken produces a certain taste that the Negrense love. And they've been doing that for, for centuries, so we just kept on doing it. Now that the dish is ready, I'm going to dig in with Negro Superfan. All right, Blaze, I want you to show me how you like to eat this chicken. We have to use our hands on this. First, you have to put it here first. OK, into the sauce. Here you go. You get a slice of the, the rice, this first. Loosen the rice a little. Loosen the rice a little bit. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Cheers. Cheers. All right. Oh, oh. No. oh no. Mm. Okay. Are you having a moment? Mm -hmm. mm. It feels like you've never seen your mom for a long time. And she prepares a good dish for you. This is like, wait, wait. I'm kind of emotional right here. Okay. So we've had a first bite. What's next? Then it comes to a second bite. And I'm going to go beast mode on this. Oh. All right, I'm going to pull out this part of the chicken, like the leg part. To me, this is the best part of the chicken right here because uh, you have the ligaments, you have the skin, the meat, and you have the white part here. This bone, oh, this bone right here is so delicious. Okay, now I'm gonna eat this part. It has a lot of flavor in there. It's the way they cook it. Because the marinade seeps into the bone. Exactly. All right, that's why I love nego sin asado. So after you took that bite, you're just gonna say, "Kalami, kalami." The pro. That's how we do it. Baby. Up next, we check out the competition at JT's Monocut Grill. If I put my name on it, I believe in it. Then it's the ultimate blindfold taste test that will determine who will rule the chicken in a cell roost. In the old days, vendors used to peddle their chicken along the seashore. Now this popular dish is everywhere across Metro Manila. Today, two rival chicken and a salad joints are locked in a food war. It's between the reigning number one JT's Monocon Grill. Of course, JT's will win this food war. We're number one, and I think that says a lot. And Negros in a Sal Express. Negros in a Sal will definitely win this food war. This chicken right here is the Fueling this rivalry even further is the fact that these two restaurants are located in the same district, right here in Quezon City. JT's Borromeo branch is just three kilometers from Negros Inasal Express. In terms of Inasal, JT is the best. The chicken is tender, marinated good, and it tastes like a genuine Inasal from Pahonan. I would prefer JT's over Negros because you always get the, the consistency of the taste, the authentic Pahonan Inasal chicken taste. Award-winning actor Joel Torre is a familiar face on the silver screen. But these days, it's his real-life role as owner of restaurant JT's Monacan Grill that's gotten audiences all fired up. His chicken in a cell got so popular that 11 outlets have sprung up across the country. So, Joel, in a city poll, JT's came out number one. How do you feel about that? Well, proud and humbled. I'm from Bacolod, and I could say this is authentic Bacolod chicken in a sal with a little twist in our own little version of it. Over here, it's easy to see that Joel has hit on a winning formula with his tasty menu. It's really juicy, it's really moist, and it really brings out the Filipino flavor. My dad used to tell me, Joel, you only have one name. Make sure you take care of it. JT's, my name is at stake there. The superstar attraction at JT's Matacan Grill is the delicious chicken in a sauce. But we have to use charcoal, because that's the Baholod way. We're not fast food, we're slow food. <laughs> Joel also takes pride in staying true to his roots. He imports key ingredients like tuba straight from Bacolod. The most important thing is the coconut vinegar. Baholod with nasal is very garlicky, gingerly, and a little sour, but never too sweet. In Negro's recipe, the marinade is made in advance and left to sit before it is infused with the chicken. At JT's, the marinade is mixed in right away. So we left it sit for six hours, and then after that, we put it in a chiller for another six hours. Wow. 
It's a long marinade process. It's a long uh, marinade process. Because it's in room temperature, so you hasten the marination process. Both restaurants infuse their garlic rice with chicken oil, but Negros has theirs in an even mix, while JT's drizzles it on top. We drizzle in the chicken oil with achuete. Native to South and Central America, achuete seeds are one of the most important ingredients in Filipino cooking. I come to JT's every couple of weeks. I definitely consider myself a loyal fan because I like the different flavors that come with the food, especially the sauces I can put on top. It lets me get that real explosion on it. It's time for my first taste of JT's chicken in a salad, and a super fan has come to give me a few tips. Namicha! Okay, Dwight, I know you're a friend of JT's. How long have you been coming here? Uh, ever since they set it up. Wow. First time, the first night I was there. So what is it about the flavor that keeps you coming back? JT's Manukan in a salad is a Pavlovian in a sal. You just think of it and you start to salivate already. The meat is tender and juicy at the same time, and the skin is just perfectly crisp. JT's in a sal makes me go back to my childhood. At the time when I was in the movie house with my cousins, with my brothers, with my sisters, about a dozen of us, we're all eating in a sal, watching good movies. Uh, the whole place is filling up with the aroma of the in a sal. It's the only nasal that brings back all those memories for me. This is my favorite part, by the way. This is uh, paa, or the leg and thigh. See how golden brown it is? Mmm, it's very comfortable already. So can we start with Absolutely. this? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Absolutely, let's eat. All right. Uh, first, you have to mix the sao sao. Put the calamansi in. Then, we have the soy sauce. It all depends on how salty you want the sao sao to be. Then, of course, the sinamak. You shake it up to make it spicier. And yeah, we're ready. Take a bite out of it. Is the movie I'm theater coming back? I'm watching a James Bond movie right now. My sister is very noisy over here, smacking her lips also. It works. <laughs> it works, you see? Wow. You really get that smokiness from the grill, and that sauce just makes it. See? I see. This is definitely going to be a heated chicken in a sal battle. Up next, we'll find out who is the ultimate king of chicken in a sal. Let's get this food war started! Chicken in a sal may have originated in Bacolod capital of Negros Occidental, but it's definitely earned its rightful place in Metro Manila's Food Hall of Fame. Today, it's the popular food chain JT's Manacan Grill, with 11 outlets across the country, versus the single neighborhood nook Negros in a Sal Express. The contenders have come face to face as they enter their chicken in a Sal and garlic rice into battle. Judgment Day, and the stakes are high. The winner will have eternal bragging rights and the number one chicken in a sal in Metro Manila. Are you ready for this food war? Yeah! Now let's bring out the taste testers. First up, we have super fan from Negros in a Sal Express, Mr. Blaze! Next up, super fan from JT's Monacan Grill, actor and comedian, Mr. Dwight Gaston! without our three impartial taste testers. First up, celebrity chef, J.P. Anglo. Next up, we have food consultant, Ms. Michi C. Song. Last but not least, we have restaurateur, Ms. Icy Marina. Let the food war begin! All right, taste testers, this is a blindfold taste test. Your palate will decide which chicken in a sal is superior. Put on your blindfolds. Let's bring out plate A. Three, two, one, taste. The taste testers will not be told which plate comes from which restaurant. At the end of the sampling session, they will cast a vote for their preferred plate.
Space Testers, it's time for Plate B. Now remember, Taste Testers, it's about that distinctive flavor of the chicken and that garlic rice, because it ties it all together with that beautiful chicken oil. Taste testers, remove your blindfolds. You have each given a card. Write your name and the letter of your preferred choice on that card. As the taste testers cast their votes, they don't know that plate A was from Negros Inasal Express and plate B was from JT's Monacan Grill. And the results? are in my hands. Are you ready to end this food war once and for all? Yes. Let's start with super fan of Negros Inasal Express, Mr. Blade. Let's make some noise, everybody. Are you confident that you made the right choice? The first time I had a bite, I knew it was it. The chicken really tastes good. Brings me home. So which plate did you choose, A or B? A, definitely. All right. We have Mr. Dwight Gaston, super fan of JT's Manukan Grill. Are you, sir, confident that you made the right choice? Indubitably. <laughs> Absolute yes. And what was it that made you choose your plate? One plate had a tart and vinegary flavor. The other one, I started seeing the movie in my mind, and I knew that was the right one. You were brought back to, to what? To that movie house where I grew up eating in a sal, and watching the movie, it brought me back. Which one did you choose, A or B? Definitely. B. Well, well, one for A and one for B. And you made the right choice. Oh, nice. Yeah, but that's B. All right, all right. So plate A was Negros. Let's make some noise. In a song. And plate B was JT's Manukan Grill. Yeah. Chef JP, I want to know what made you choose the plate that you chose? You know, being from Bacolod and growing up having Inasal every week, I was looking for something that reminded me of home. Chef JP, which plate did you choose? I chose. Plate B. Yes! <laughs> I see. Which plate did you choose? For me, the plate that stood out, it had this beautiful marinade that I was looking for. It was like the coconut vinegar. That's pretty much the secret to uh, an inasal. And uh, it had this beautiful charring, like when I tasted the skin together with the meat. So I chose plate A. We have two votes for Negro. Two votes for JT! Yeah. Getting intense! Woo. Here we go. So, Miss Michi, mm. <laughs> it all rests on your shoulders. I know. Feels like I'm being grilled here. I know I'm being grilled. Like a chicken. <laughs> like a chicken. Tell me about the plate that you chose. I will go to the one that brought me back to how Inasal should be. My choice for my favorite Inasal is plate. City, two rival chicken and asal establishments are embroiled in a raging food war. Our blindfold taste test will determine once and for all who serves the best chicken and asal. Five taste testers have sampled both plates of chicken and asal and garlic rice and have cast their votes. Now we have two votes for Negros and Asal Express and two votes for JT's Monacan Grill. And it all boils down to her, Miss Michi. Mm. <laughs> it all rests on your shoulders. I know. Tell me about the plate that you chose. I truly enjoyed both dishes. Plate A, very moist, has this distinct vinegar that I'm looking for in Inasal, which you can only find in the province of Bacolod. Plate B has a great balance of sweetness, saltiness, and sourness. I will go to the one that brought me back 
to how Inasal should be. My choice for my favorite Inasal is... Plate A. Yeah! Yeah! That means Negros wins this food board! Amazing. The score has been settled, and we all know who's number one now. So I'm very, very happy about it. Joel, the results are out. What are your feelings right now? I'm a bit disappointed, of course, but it's just a close one. I respect the judge's decision, it's a judgment call. But you know what, Debbie, I think the real winner here is chicken in a sal, the dish itself. I'm so happy that the most famous dish of Baholot has become so popular. It has spread all over the Philippines. Our five taste testers today decided that Negros Inasal Express was the winner of this food war. But don't take their word for it. Go to both restaurants and decide for yourself.